Hey everyone, how are you? I've been meaning to make this video for a very long time because the question that I'm asked more than any other is how do you read so much? And seemingly this is asked of any booktuber or blogger, but I'm never really sure how to answer because I'm not sure of the intentions behind the question. Like, are people really looking for some sort of magic formula to read more abundantly? Or are people just expressing their dismay that they don't get to read as much as they would ideally like to? And I think it's interesting that the question is always phrased, how do you read so much, rather than what might be a more interesting question of why do you read so much? And I guess the assumption is that given endless amounts of time, like the unfortunate hero of the classic Twilight Zone episode, Time Enough at Last, we would spend all of our time reading all of the books. But the reality is that no matter how much we love the act of reading, nobody would actually want to spend literally all of their time reading. I mean, I spend a lot of time reading, but there are periods where I just feel like I'm not in the mood. In fact, Joyce Carol Oates and I can have secret online gaming sessions which can last all night long. I mean, just look at this. Joyce, have you got to level seven yet? Joyce, have you earned a million coins? Joyce, have you defeated the evil sorceress? But in all seriousness, yes, sometimes I do just spend a few hours playing video games. And it's entertaining, yes, uh, but also I just sometimes feel the need to get out of myself and focus on something different. Uh, and it can sometimes be linked to if there's frustrations in my life or I might be feeling very depressed. So I feel like uh, I can only really read if I can honestly wholeheartedly engage with what the author is trying to tell me. Because I think, you know, sometimes we have these periods where that we label as reading slumps, where we, we just can't get into what we're reading, no matter how good the book is. But I think it's important to be patient with where you are physically and mentally and not force yourself to read just for the sake of reading. And I'd be really interested to know if you've ever had these reading slumps and how you've gotten out of it. Is it just a particular book that got you out of it or do you just have to naturally wait till you feel like you're ready to go back to books again? Anyway, a big reason of why I'm able to read so much is to do with privilege. And I'm very aware of that and I feel very lucky to be in such a privileged position to read as much as I do. I'm in a relatively stable job, uh, in a stable relationship, in a stable society, uh, although that's sort of questionable. I mean, who knows what's going to happen with Brexit next year in the UK, so, so yeah, who knows about that. But, but yeah, if I didn't have this stability in all these aspects of my life, I don't think I would be able to read as much as I do because I just wouldn't have the concentration or patience to be able to really focus on what I'm reading. Part of this is through my own actions because I've designed my life in a way that allows me the time to read as much as I can or as, as much as I want to because I, I don't have any dependents, I don't have children or pets or even a very wide social circle. Although, you know, I do still have friends, I do like to go out, I, I spend a lot of time with my boyfriend having quality time together and I like going to the theatre and the cinema and pursuing other different cultural activities than just reading. But, you know, it, it is the main thing that I focus on and I'll spend huge amounts of my spare time just reading. And there are periods where I'll just spend loads amount of time binge watching a TV show or re-watching Drag Race for the hundredth time, which I can do again more easily now because all 10 seasons have just been added again to Netflix in the UK. 
but uh, I, and I can feel guilty about doing this and, and spending time not reading, especially when I look at the towers and towers of books that I have to read. Also, one of the reasons I read so much is because after having started a book blog and a booktube channel, I found that reading becomes this self-perpetuating thing. You know, the more I read on book blogs about what people are reading and watch booktube channels of what people are reading, the more excited I get to, to read new books and different kinds of books. And I definitely read more rigorously than I did several years ago, even though I, I've always thought of myself as a bookworm. But I think it's interesting how with this online book community, you know, we, we encourage each other to read more, almost like, you know, it's, like, it's almost like a religion how devoted we are to, to reading and wanting to read either the latest books or different YA series or different groups of fantasy novels or some classic books of fiction. And for me personally, since I primarily read new literary fiction and have spent years blogging and reviewing hundreds of books, I've just got on the list, publicity lists of different publishers. And so I'm sent new books all of the time. And I feel very lucky and grateful for that. And seeing all these really exciting new titles coming out, I, it, you know, it really motivates and excites me to read as much as I can. And in some ways it feels ironic to me when people ask me how I read so much because in my mind, all I see is this huge stack of books that I haven't got to reading yet. And so I, I feel in some ways that I, I read so little compared to how much I really want to read because, you know, I made a video about this recently about my end of the year TBR pile and this huge stack of books that honestly I would really like to read all in the month of December, even though I know realistically that is never gonna happen. But still, like, I'm conscious of just all of the books that I still have to read or, or that I want to read. So to maximize my reading time, I often read across multiple platforms. I'll read physical books and ebooks and audiobooks. And it's because I found that these different forms of reading are suited to different kinds of activities that don't really require a huge amount of concentration. So, you know, when I'm at home and I can have some quiet time, I'll read a physical book. And then when I'm on the train or public transport, I'll read an ebook. Or uh, if I'm walking somewhere and I don't need to be thinking about too many things, I can just listen to an audiobook. And so because I can fit this reading time into, you know, just a few minutes here and there in different places, then that sort of adds up over time, then means that I get to read more books. And I also have the added bonus of having a boyfriend who is pretty much always perpetually late for almost anything. So I've learned over time that instead of getting really frustrated when I'm waiting for him to arrive at a restaurant, when we've made an arrangement to meet at a restaurant and have dinner, and he arrives half an hour late, rather than getting really upset about that, I'll just make sure that I have a book with me so I can read while uh, waiting at, uh, at a table and waiting for him to arrive. Or most of the time I'll just read on my phone or an e-reader because, you know, then I don't want to look like that sado just sitting on his own reading a book and have the waiters hovering around me thinking that I've just been stood up by a date. I also probably only sleep on average around six hours a night, and so this gives me a good long period of reading time in the mornings usually, although if I'm going through a bad period of insomnia, I find that isn't really conducive to reading time. You know, like when you have insomnia, it's, it's not added bonus time to do other things that, that you can't, don't have time to do during the day, you know, because if your 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 sort of your mind isn't really in a place where you can really focus on books that the way that you should ideally and i found that when i do force myself to read during periods of insomnia i just don't remember or absorb what i've been reading like the next day i'll just 
it all have gone out of my mind and, and I won't recall what I just read. So in a nutshell, that's how I read so much. And of course, there are periods when I'll read less because there'll be life things happening, like I'll have a very stressful period going on in my job or I'll have stressful things happening in my personal life or like I explained, I will just won't be in the mood to read as much. So, you know, even though we get so passionate about reading and love reading as, as much as we do and feel that it, it broadens our horizons and connects us with humanity in a very unique way, reading isn't being in the real world. You know, it's this very special form of entertainment and intellectual engagement which is unlike anything else and which is why I love reading so much and spend so much time reading because there's really nothing like a good book. That is how I read so much. I would love to know your thoughts about any of this or how you read so much or why you read so much. Let me know in the comments below and let's have a chat. But however much you read, I wish you a very happy reading and I will speak to you again soon. Bye everyone.